This is the ultimate war on women, Mr. Speaker. If we don't allow women to be born, we cannot talk about any other rights. You talk about a war on women. This is a war on ethics. Woe to you if you vote against this bill. The bill in question we're talking about here, the members were there on the floor, was a bill that would ban and criminalize gender selection as a reason for abortions. Although 246 House members voted for the bill the other day and 169 against it, it didn't get the requisite two-thirds in the procedural rule in which it was brought up. So, here we go. Let's take the two, talk to two congressmen on both sides of the bill. We've got Cliff Stearns of Florida who voted for it, and we have uh, Donna Edwards of Maryland who voted against it. I want Mr. Stearns to make the case. What community in this country is engaged right now in gender selection uh, in terms of abortion? Well, it's across the United States. Uh, Dr. Puri of the University of California has shown through evidence by interviewing women from 2004 to 2009 that a lot of them made this decision based upon sex Which selection. Which community though? Which community is it? Uh, well, the, the, uh, the immigrant community is one of the large ones that uh, he looked at because of that, uh, that problem. Is anyone else involved in this to your knowledge besides Asian women who come to the United States who have that culture they bring with them that it, it prefers a, a boy children? Does anyone else, have you any evidence beyond that community of this, well, of this practice? Me, you talk no, about I want the, the answer to that question. The, the answer Do you have is any evidence national, beyond that community? Yes. The National Academy of Science has done a study uh, from the last census in this country and they found statistically there's a deviation that shows more of these abortions occur and that there is sex selection so I think it's the National Academy of Science shows that evidence pretty strongly I think that's but a you don't have any evidence of, of cases in other words if you were going to go to court you wouldn't have cases would you well, in other words, you're talking about a law here. My problem is this. You don't want to punish the woman. You want to punish the doctor. But in this case, a woman could, if she did have this intention because of her background or values or whatever they are, and I'm certainly not for them, if there was such a case, she would simply go from doctor to doctor to find a doctor who wouldn't ask her the question, and she'd proceed with the abortion. So what do you accomplish with this law? It couldn't oh, be enforced. I'll tell you what you accomplish, uh, Chris. There's one thing you're missing. This same law has been passed in all the Western civilization countries, including Canada, the United, uh, United Kingdom, uh, France, Germany, Sweden, Norway, I can go on. In fact, when you go to the Asian community, it's banned in China, it's banned in Singapore, it's ban banned in Thailand. I mean, all these countries have banned it. So the, the sink that the Democrats voted against a bill that is prevalent in all these countries, both in the European community as well as the Asian community, is really flabbergast all of us. Yeah, well, they don't ban abortion in China. Let's get that straight. Chris, no, they don't I mean, ban, but they, they, they only ban have sex like selection. Yeah, yeah they, okay, they, they banned Let me sex go. selection. I, I, think this is, I think you guys are sporting for trouble here because I about one community, and I don't certainly like what I see in that community if they do this, and the evidence shows they did. But the idea, first of all, I don't know who's against having girl children. I mean, I well, don't even know who's out there. Who do you know that doesn't want to have a girl, a grandchild, or a grand, well, a, a daughter? Who's out there doing this? Chris, uh, the whole point of what your question is, why did we try to pass this bill? And we had 246 people that think it's the right bill. I thought we were talking about the bill. The bill basically is the same bill that's passed all through Europe, okay. all through I know, Asia. I know why you're and you're, doing are you arguing against the bill I yourself? I know why you're doing it. You're doing it to try to find moderate Republicans from swing districts you can nail. This no, is pure we're politics. Doing, this, this is pure principle. And those yeah. people that voted against this, this bill are woe to them because they're, they're immoral is. in their presentation. You just did? Woe to them. What are you, Lincoln? Woe to me. I voted Boy, against I wish it, I was Chris. Lincoln. I wish I was Lincoln. <laughs> now, first of all, the study that he cites, they interviewed 65 women out of millions of women across this country. 65 women, and that's the basis for national policy here. I mean, this is really ridiculous. I mean, this continues. I mean, the Republicans on one hand don't want us to say there's a war on women, and yet every single week there's some new measure uh, to ban abortion, to end family planning. They don't want to provide for family planning, but then they want to prevent so-called sex-based abortions, um, uh, finding a problem that really is not, ex doesn't exist in this country for the, uh, to merit the level of national policy. Chris, this can I answer really that? This is really ridiculous. Sure. Go ahead, sir. Well, first of all, the United Nations agrees with this bill. I mean, Madonna is saying that uh, this is a war on women. This is not a war on women. In fact, the United Nations has said that if you base abortions based upon sex selection, that's bad. That, they said, is a war on women. So this Cliff, is a you just agreed to end. you just agreed to end family planning for uh, the, the work well, that the United is, Nations is doing across the country. I mean, let's stop this already. I mean, well, you, the Republicans, every single week in this Congress, Chris, the Republicans put forward... Now, 
talk about the bill. Another measure, women, you don't have privacy in the decisions with your doctors. And no, we're no, 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 no. This, this is what you do we're all the time. We're going to make doctors <laughs> mind readers. Hey, let me, let's get our idea do that. straight here. Let's Mr. stay on Mr. the facts. Stearns, okay, yes. let's stay on the facts here. I want to know your background on this. If you could pass a law in this country, get a constitutional amendment passed that banned abortions, would you do it? Well, certainly, I would. I, well, I'm pro life. So you're, against, I'm you're totally against enough. a woman's right but, to make a decision in this regard. Across well, I'm pro life. That's absolutely correct. So this is correct. one but way of Chris, a, a, this is one step forward in terms no, of your ultimate goal. No, no, this is not talking about one step forward. This is talking about basic moral values. Do you think it's wrong? to abort a baby because she's a female. And that's the question Donna has to ask and in her well, inner if heart. It's wrong is that morally, right to do? Why don't you punish she the voted. Woman? She voted against it. Well, we can punish the doctors. We can punish the doctors. The, the way the bill set up is the doctor has well, no right that? to question well, the motivation of the girl. Because and so that's if the doctor not can't, what this is can't, about. Can't that's ask why. the motivation I mean, of the so girl, he won't the be punished. You ask, the, you ask the doctors to be mind readers, to sit and figure out when a woman comes to the office what, whether, well, why they want to well, sure. What should be it, the punishment, sir? I, I have this with people who say that they're pro-life. I don't even, I think we're all pro-life. But let me ask this. Yeah. What, what should be the punishment for a woman who chooses to have an abortion? Well, I'm not talking about abortion. No, answer We're talking that about... question before we no, go no, no, on. No, Chris. no, no, you want to outlaw it, you call it murder, you use terms yeah. like that. No. What should be the punishment for a woman who chooses that? Goes to a doctor, they don't go door to door. She goes to the doctor and asks for this procedure. What should be the punishment for that? Well. If we're talking about abortion, we have the Hyde rule, which says you can have an abortion for incest, the life of the mother, uh, and, and things like that, uh, and rape. So we already have, have that in place. So what but should the, be the punishment the for a woman is, who wants an abortion because she doesn't want to deliver the child, period? Well, what should be know, the punishment? Uh, let me ask you, what should be the so punishment you don't want to answer for this, plan? Do you? I want to answer you with a question is... No, I questions. Oh, I what know do you, you think the punishment is? You want to outlaw abortion and you don't want to do it because you know, deep down, you know, the average voter, even in your districts, which may be conserved, doesn't believe the woman's really guilty of a, of, a, of a murder. They don't really think it should be a murder charge, certainly. They may not even think it should be finable because deep down people are troubled by this issue. It's a difficult moral dilemma, and that's why we let the person make the decision. It's okay. so difficult. That's okay. why we don't make all these laws that you want to pass because okay. it's a difficult decision. You Chris. can't answer it. Why, do you, why don't you let the <laughs> women answer show. it? It's your no. show. Let me answer. You answer let me the answer. question. Should there be let a punishment for having an abortion? You won't I can answer, answer it. The question. I'll answer the question the way I want. It might be your show and you can do a little talking, but I can answer the question the way I want. The question is, should there be a law preventing a woman making an abortion based upon sex selection to eliminate female embryos? And that, I agree, is wrong, and I think you agree, and Donna also and What agrees. should be the punishment for a woman doing that? Well, I think there should be a punishment. It should be against the law, just like it's against the law what in all of Europe. What should be the punishment? Europe. I think the punishment should certainly be uh, very serious, and it should be what considered should it be for more the woman? than a civil. What should I be think for the woman? It should be more than a civil case. It, it should be something very serious. Because so it should be a criminal actually, matter for the woman as well as the I doctor. I think so. You are killing okay. an embryo, and in some cases you're killing an embryo that's four or five months into okay. uh, just as... Hey, look, I agree with the value. I, I just think we uh, get law involved in personal decisions here. Oh, I understand, the, but you just uh, said you agree with the bill. You just said no, that. No, so. I don't believe in punishing people for having abortions. But I'm you unlike you. That I couldn't you, be more different. I think people have to make that decision. But, but Chris, you just said you agree that sex selection is bad, and that's the question. Of course it question. is. Of course. Okay, then that's the bill we're talking about. That's the bill no. that's going to come back on the floor, not under okay. Uh, okay. Uh, suspension. It's, uh, please come back. Uh, you are All a right. good sport, even though I think you've got to rethink where, where the moral decision may. I think sometimes you guys on the far right think women aren't capable of a major decision like this. So you punish the doctor, you presume. It's, I really think you've got a problem with this, and you don't want to admit the fact that it's a moral conflict here. But but that's why we leave it in the hands of the woman, because it is so difficult. Let me go Give back me. to Congresswoman Edwards. Give let her speak on this. Okay. That's why we let the woman decide. Of course because it is. It's because it's so hard for really, anybody else to this decide. It's a really difficult decision. It really needs to be between the, the doctor and, and the woman. Mm -hmm. We don't need the government in the doctor's office making those decisions. Especially when they can't handle the crime. And we don't need to like punish, punish women. We can educate women about sex forced uh, right. abortions, but we don't have to punish women or doctors. I thank Chris, you. Chris, can I have so the much. last word? Can I have the last word? The basic, the, the basic question is if all of Europe and most of Asia has the same rule that you cannot have sex selection as an abortion, why can't okay. we in the United States pass the same bill?
It's always amazing when you guys on the right want to import the values of other countries. And every time we do it, any liberal tries to do it, a progressive tries to do it, you say, oh, they're bringing foreign values into this country. Anyway, thank you. Nice try. Okay. Congressman Donna Edwards and Congressman Cliff Stearns, who's now a world federalist when it comes to abortion policy.